Dan, I like that uh, image you have on the screen. Uh, was that from a, a Decatur event? Uh, yeah, Dean, Dean Hess took that photo. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a uh, nice looking photo. Okay. All right, it is seven o'clock and this meeting is called order. I'm waiting for the recording to start. Recording in progress. Okay, this, good evening everyone. I am Mayor Beverly H. Burks and this is the November Count City Council meeting for the city of Clarkston, Tuesday, November 1st. And I will now do call to order with the roll call. Vice Mayor Yasu. Present. Councilman Carroll. Councilwoman Johnson. Present. Councilwoman Hopkins. Councilwoman Bell. Present. Councilwoman Hood. Present. Okay, we, we have quorum, so we can proceed as followed. Are there any changes to the agenda? Hearing none, the agenda is accepted by common consent. We will now move to item three, which is the administrative business presentation, and that is the approval of the 10-04-2022 City Council meeting minutes and the 10-25-2022 City Council work session minutes. At this time, I will entertain a motion from the Council on those items. I move to approve the, uh, excuse me, can we do them both at the same time or shall yes, we? Yes, you, okay. you can do both. All right, I move to approve the 10-04-22 City Council meeting minutes and the 10-25-22 City Council work session minutes. Is there a second? I second. It's been properly moved and seconded that we approve the minutes from the 10-04-2022 City Council meeting and the 10-25 City Council work session minutes. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Motion passed. And now we'll proceed with the reports, starting with planning, economic, and development report, along with the city manager's report by our city manager, Shawana Cowie. Mrs. Cowie. Thanks, Mayor Burke. Um, first, I would like to announce that we will have a planning and zoning meeting to discuss a rezoning request, but that has been um, forwarded to our December 20th planning and zoning board meeting um, for an assemblage of property located on Woodland Avenue to rezone from um, industrial to NRCD, which is our multi-family community development district. So that meeting, it will be held on December the 20th. Also, we have our safe sidewalk audit that is coming up on November 7th. That will take place with safe sidewalk that will perform the audits and let us know how our sidewalks are meeting um, uh, conditions and compliance. So we are excited about that. The mayor and I had a meeting with um, Safe Sidewalk. And our project conversations with our multifamily communities are commencing um, along with a few of our um, resettlement communities. We did have conversations with them and it is always good to get an understanding um, and learn, we listened and learned, and we were well informed on where 
we need to step in and fill in some of those gaps with the information that we are also receiving. Budget season is upon us and we have rolled out our predictions for 2023. The preliminary um, draft budget is on the website and hard copies are available at City Hall Annex and the DeKalb County Library, the Clarkson Library. And we are sure that we will get a lot of uh, participation, public participation, and we wanna hear your thoughts. We wanna be creative and understand what programs you want us to focus on, even if that is uh, safety, if that's environment, more programs for our summer, um, summer programs, we've heard that. Thank you, Councilwoman Hood. Um, we want to be aware of the programs that you would like to see and the resources and the quality of life that we will provide for this Clarkstonian. So uh, please review it, give us your comments, and we look forward to presenting that budget to you before the year is out for adoption. And also, just on a creative note, we have a pocket part that needs a name. So we thought that it would be beneficial to get a little bit of assistance from our community. Name that pocket park that's on the corner of Church Street next to the U-Haul. Well, it's Mail, it's across over the Mail Avenue. It's Mail Avenue, but it's the pocket park. So if you have some recommendations on some names, I'm pretty sure Mayor and City Council would like to receive them from the community and see how well that will go so we can name that pocket park. And one last kudo I would like to give to my wonderful staff. We both, um, the city clerk and I both attended the Human Resources Administration Certificate Program um by gma and we completed that program and we are we have certificates for human resources so um kudos to miss mitchell also i attended the georgia city county management association conference in um jekyll island and yours truly out of all of the attendees my group of five we obtained the trophy for first place in our human resources drills. So we're extremely excited about that representation. I'm excited about how we're rolling out this next year. And feel free, if you have any questions, um, even the recommendations for the pocket part, please email us at help at cityofclarkson.com and we are here to assist. Mayor Burke. Sorry, are there any questions for the city manager? Hearing none, we'll proceed with the city attorney's report. Good evening, mayor and council. Uh, my only report is that the city of Tucker did indeed appeal of uh, their lawsuit being dismissed. And so that's on to the Georgia Court of Appeals and uh, We'll see, I'll keep you updated. Okay, well, thank you for that. All right, if, are there any questions for the city attorney? Hearing none, we'll go into council reports, Mark, remarks, and we'll start with our vice mayor, Yasu. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. I attended two events um, on the October 7th. Um, Movie South Milan with my daughter and also October 29th, thanks to Mayor Burks. Um, I attended the trunk and treat um, uh, again with my daughter and uh, I really wanna thank the mayor and our city staff for all the work that they do and they did. And uh, that's all I wanna report. Thanks again. Thank you. And uh, Councilman Carroll. Yes, I also attended the Trunk and Treat, it was a great event. I would like to thank the city staff uh, for the good work and putting it on. And that's all I have to report. Okay, thank you. And we'll proceed with Councilwoman Johnson. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I, um, I We didn't have an official 
October 1st lighting of the tree this year. But on October the 1st, um, with the help of our city manager and staff, we did light up City Hall purple and pink in um, remembrance of domestic violence awareness and breast cancer. Um, and I also attended um, at the Milam Park, the um, Faith in Blue um, at Milam. So that was it for me this month. But I'm still walking okay. through neighborhoods, um, passing out applications for the weatherization program. I'm gonna say that every month. Um, if you have not received an application via a door knocking or just going on the website, please let me know or city staff and we'll be more than happy to get the application out to you. Thank you. Thank you. And then we'll have Councilwoman Bell. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, this month, I uh, introduced the new graduates of the Earn While You Learn uh, EMT program at the Clarkson Community Center. Um, the graduation was led by the American uh, Medical Response on the 28th, so last Friday. Uh, in addition to that, um, Council Member Hood and I have uh, reconvened our business walkthroughs and talking to business in regards to programs that we have for the city, specifically the facade program that we just passed, uh, as well as uh, we had a joint um, committee, public safety and legal and business and economic development uh, committee meeting uh, in collaboration with uh, Council Member Hood's business and economic development committee meeting where we talked about the, the Clarkson Downtown Development Authority, uh, what it looks like to activate it, uh, as well as um, a potential uh, in entertainment district uh, and Clarkson Town Center district as an overlay. Um, and I've been working with the Women's um, Refuge Refugee Women's Center um, to kind of help recruit and talk to go to different schools, elementary and middle schools in Clarkston uh, in regards to finding more folks to join our Clarkston Youth Advisory Council. So be on the lookout for more information uh, around that. Thank you. Thank you. And Councilwoman Hood. Thank you. Uh, I won't repeat uh, the information that Councilmember Bell uh, presented about our standing advisory committee meeting, but uh, the, it was very productive. Um, no report other than to just remind people that this is early voting and our Clarkston Library is one of the sites between now and the fourth when early voting ends. So please, if you haven't voted yet, uh, it's right in the neighborhood. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman Hood. Um, and to, yes, yes, City Manager Cowie. I was so excited um, that I forgot to mention that we will have our second community open house for our zoning rewrite on November the 16th at the Clarkson Community Center at 7 p.m. In our second community open house meeting for the zoning rewrite, will take place at the Clarkson Community Center at 7 p.m. on November the 16th. Thank you. Thank you for that follow. -up. Yes, and Councilwoman Hood. Yes, and I think, is it not correct, uh, uh, City Manager, that the new draft of the ordinance will be posted fairly soon and it will be on our website in advance of that meeting? Of course it will. So you don't have to wait till the, the day of the meeting to, to view it. Get a copy, correct. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Council, for your remarks and reports. So it's for um, the mayor's report. Um, and thank you, Councilwoman Hood, for mentioning the uh, Clarkston Library. Um, that was something that we really pushed. And I, I had conversations last year when they were talking about removing um, the drop boxes to make sure that they were mindful of our community and that we are a walkable community. So I strongly encourage people to not wait until election day and simply you can walk to the community center if you have if you want to and go ahead and vote. I mean, library, not a community center, library and vote. Uh, for this month, um, with the Atlanta Business League, I was recognized as 100th 
as one of 100 Black women of influence when they have their breakfast. Um, I also participated with the Green Hive in their leadership program that they had and was a speaker for that. Um, I was happy to greet uh, the Fulbright scholars from more than 19 countries at Refuge Coffee to kind of give them a glimpse into the world of Clarkston. Um, I was happy to sign not only the proclamation for Congo Week, but also to uh, recognize Hispanic Month as well and, and had many representatives to come out for that. Uh, participated and attended the open house for the new city of Chambly's City Hall. So I was there with my other fellow mayors for that event. Um, I attended the uh, recognition event for uh, Commissioner Larry Johnson and his 20 years of service for DeKalb County. Um, I also attended the Congo Week event at the Women's Club where they had a movie and talked about other issues as it relates to Congo as a reminder of the conflict that continues to be uh, one of the main issues facing that community where they are probably the second largest group to uh, come to not only the state of Georgia, but from the United States as well in the United States. I attended the uh, Council for Quality Gro Gross recognition of Carol Toomey, um, the CEO of UPS. Uh, I attended uh, Commissioner, uh, Le Commissioner Steve Bradshaw's mayor's meeting, as well as his quarterly update at uh, Toomey, Toomey Grant Park uh, Recreation Center. Um, I also attended the uh, Atlanta Regional Commission's State of the Region Breakfast, where I found out a lot of wonderful information and in how Atlanta continues to be the place to be in the South. So glad to hear that. And I wanna thank the staff and everyone for their assistance with Trunk or Treat on Main Street. And so we were very excited to have that and very grateful to the staff and Etni and others who participated in the program, Ref, um, Refugee Women's Network, uh, Dr. O'Connor and other people who helped out. So thank you for making a safe place for our children to enjoy Halloween. So with that, that concludes my report. And so as I look at the agenda, we will go into uh, public comments. At any time, any member of the public may address the council during the time allotted for public comment. Each attendee will be allowed three minutes for comments at the discretion of the providing officer. The public comment period will be limited to 40 minutes and it is not a time for dialogue. If your public comment contains a series of questions, please submit those to the city clerk in writing. This will, will facilitate follow-up by the council or staff. The city council desires to allow an opportunity for public comment. However, the business of the city must proceed in an orderly and timely manner. Uh, city manager, do we have anyone signed up for public comments at this time? We do not. Okay, well. With that being said, there's no old business and we have one item on the consent agenda, which is item 7A, approval to allocate 30,000 ARPA funds to the Clarkston Community Center proposal request for the expansion of adult and senior services ESL and civic digital literacy program. And so with the consent agenda, that means that we had discussion of this particular item during our work session. As a council, we agreed there was no further deliberation on this particular item and that we would move forward with the approval of it with a single vote. So with that being said, we will have, I look forward from a motion from the council to proceed with this item. Vice Mayor motion, Yasu. Madam. Yes, I sir. I have a motion. Thank you, ma'am. And I move to, um, let me read it to approve the uh, allocation of $30,000 ARPA funds to the Clarkson Community Center proposal request for the expansion of adult and senior services, ESL and civics digital literacy program. Thank you. Can I have a second? Second. 
it has been properly moved and seconded to approve, to allocate $30,000 of ARPA funds to the Clarkson Community Center proposal request for the expansion of adult and senior services, ESL and civic, civics digital literacy program. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Okay. And I know there are no nays since it's on consent. Correct. No nays. Okay. Motion passed. Thank you all. There is no new business, which means now we can turn around and do something that we probably haven't done in a long time in the meeting in less than 20 minutes. So thank you for your efficiency. Thank you for everything that in terms of council, what we're doing to make sure we streamline things. So I appreciate that. With that being said, Vice Mayor, take it away. I move to adjourn the meeting. I say it. Yeah. It's been properly moved and seconded multiple times <laughs> that we adjourn the meeting. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Motion passed. Thank you all for attending and congratulations, Com Clarkson Community Center. Mm -hmm. Keep doing yes. the great work that you're yes. doing. Yep. Thank yep. you for your and service. Have a great yep. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye, all. Bye. Night. Vote, vote, and vote. Recording stopped.